morning, good day everybody. Welcome to the Cross Stitch Wednesday European Town. Uh, one more time I show you how I work with the big canvas and how to hold the frame. This was requested uh, and I do have tutorials before I show you how I work with big canvas. Uh, how to hold your frame you don't, if you don't have a stand. So I don't mind to show you one more time, that's okay. Uh, always ask if you have some question, I will help you. So because this canvas is enormous, I roll the and this clips is really, really, really good. Uh, they are powerful and holding beautiful canvas. So I'm just keeping like this if I want to store later or if I stitch somewhere in here, for example, I would just put this on a top literally on my canvas like this and hold it. So as you can see in here, I have my canvas off my table because if I want to stitch somewhere in here, I need my canvas to move on the edge of my table and then I put something heavy in here. For example, even box of Kleenex will hold your frame. If you have something heavier, uh, sometimes I grab my uh, diamond painting organizer and put on the top in here and that way I can work in here it's kind of it's sturdy it's holding my canvas not to fall on the floor uh, something heavy is good to put up there and that's how I work if I want to reach to this side I literally flip my uh, canvas around and then I start to work on this side which would be in here right so you can flip that way uh, don't flip to start from here like you know put this way because that way your crisscross axis will be in a different direction so if you flip this side from the bottom to the top these two sides you can flip together your cross stitch will show in direction in the same way or if you start in from this side so then you can flip this side with that side to work together but I think uh, most of us work this way so that's what I have right now so far and now uh, also I have questions how come my cross stitches look so good uh, my friends on this particular uh, canvas I'm using wax uh, I show you many times and when I set up now my um, to work to work on uh, we can do this again together because I already prepare this this is what I will work I have in here this uh, 46 this red color lots of it so I will start for the from this section and you see I have even a little bit in here but that I can do later so I will start from here and that way I can get easy to this part without breaking a thread if I have to but I will not over stitch my number till I finish at least like in here so I remember what uh, threads of color I need because it's a rule I don't want to unroll all the time and the pictures not exactly work for me because this orange and this red on a picture could be looks absolutely the same and you can mistake so some colors very similar but this is red this is orange uh, I can see on a canvas a uh, picture can disguise color a little bit differently because I want it in here, but that's also green color. So I just pick in here. It's a bigger patch a little bit. And that's the color I will work right now. So then I will show you one more time how I use my wax. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, this is the wax that I'm using. I will need maybe scissors later. I will need my threader, use this one, okay, so what I do, where is the camera, I separate my threads by using one, by pulling one by one, because your stitch is not going to be very straight, uh, because they all tangle up like twisted together all six of them so you have to smooth them out so we are going to grab one and pull there I have one now make sure to untangle this part to get to your next one 
just a whole day in here in your hands so you can pull your thread like that okay two and we need one more there now this tray because it's left tray i still going to separate them later one by one to untangle them that's important to have a better stitches uh, now i will put my ends together never afraid to ask question even you know um you sometimes people think oh that this is like you know stupid question there's no stupid questions all questions is good if you're concerned about something that you definitely should ask before you make some kind of mistake or you know that's okay especially if you just start in your crusted journey i love it to to read your comments when you say you started to cross stitch because of my channel thank you so much make me happy so i'm holding my uh, all my tails in here together now i'm just gonna go a little bit further maybe like you know 40 centimeters forever and i'm going to roll uh, pull my threads see i'm holding in here and i'm just going to pull through the wax okay hold on uh, sometimes once, sometimes twice depends how your threads go through and because it's already see like I don't know if you can see but it's already straight and it's kind of look a little waxy and now I'm just going to do the other side from this from the spot that they finish wax now I'm going to do the other ends just pull it even once I already see I don't, I don't need to go twice because even from one time I pull already good. Now we will put wax away, grab my threader. Reminder, this is 11 count Ada. And where is my ends? So this one, when we fold with you together, which one? This is the one, the ends. Hold on, hold on, hold on yeah i still move a little bit but that's okay most of these threads are even and because you untangle them see when they were all six together it's a perfect cut right all threads uh looks even but now when we separate them look the other ends if i can show you look how much this one is longer the other one shorter not two of them is like the same but one is much longer that's how much this one thread was wrapped around the other one uh, much more and when you start to stitch it start to untangle and create this kind of like a sticking out uh, stitches which is not nice that's why it's good to uh, wax them untangle them and you know just go a few times with your hand just to kind of rub your threads to smooth them out so they are like perfect straight like right now so i will be starting my usual way i will start in here so i will go a little bit over So we can cut this tail right away okay like this and then i will get this corner first all right so i will i will test it out as well something else in here my friends i will use my magnifier glass but with the light and then i will put this little light that we with you uh, did unboxing review this bendy one okay so i will put in here up front of my uh canvas like it will be light from here so maybe 
when I put my magnifier with the light, this will create me extra light from different direction and hopefully this will not create the shadow from my fingers that I always kind of not liking it. So let me try it. Let me try it. I will put this from this direction. Turn it. Okay, so this one light work USB cord that I can connect to my computer. My computer a little bit loud because I'm loading video. Video actually for Tuesday, the one that you were watching yesterday. Okay, so this is going to be one light. Here is going to be the other light. And let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let, let me try to, to see, figure out have to work to not to create the shadow maybe I need to lower this lamp Let's see how it looks. Oh, okay I don't know would that be Let's see I have a shadow from here and here hm. I still don't know if I look that way that I will be help better each side just a minute just trying just trying to move around I want to figure out if I can use this light for my stitching or not from this side hmm will I like this no because I see shadow in here too much We are not going to use my other light, but I will, I will use the little light up there. So that way it's still kind of brighter. Yeah, that way better. Okay, that worked for me too. All right, cool. Finally, let's get started. This week is pretty busy for me. Uh, I also have to upload some video this week to my other channel, Natalia XO. Hopefully, I can make it. I need to do some test. The nails product that we did uh, unboxing review, because I need to do my nails. So. I might will do some video about nails after I record this one because um, see it's already overgrow I think it's two weeks now I have this nails so I need to change them and I have a product to test and this is the perfect nails to test product on so I'm gonna be like you know those uh, under test rabbits to experiment on my own nails and if you like them, that, that would be a wonderful thing if you want to purchase starter kit and start to do your own nails. It's fun to do. It's fun. Seriously. Lots of work, but it's fun. If you have a patience, if you do diamond painting, you're already a patient person. Because that's a lots of uh, kind of, well, not, not everybody can work with tiny, tiny beads. So if you do that, that means you can do anything. I also brought with me from camper my <laughs> my cross stitch that I supposed to, okay hold on I created not already another side. Oh, I don't really want to stop with you. Hold on. I'm on the table. Have to untangle. Okay. Uh, I th does my uh, colorful sunflower that I was going to work only at the campground, but it's been two weeks already, and I did not have a time to work on it because 
or we do this or we have too much fun and I did not record any video and to be honest I missed that so maybe I'm you know like sometime at night I like to work when everybody's sleeping I will work on it to get a little bit more progress because the canvas are so gorgeous that I might will even create video with uh, here at home okay I'm going to hold this tail where we started just to go through I will cut this tail after I go and close. Um, see, while I was holding, I created another knot on the bottom. What is going on? Oh no, that was easy. Because you have to always hold your thread on the bottom with your other hand. So let me try to do. These two hands so I can control better see when you wax your thread go nice and flat on your canvas I think I can cut this one piece now. I don't have to wait. It's already secured. Not gonna go nowhere. So I'm just going to this little tail pull it up and cut that way. When you pull and you cut it's gonna be bounce backwards so the tail will go on another side under your canvas. That way it's not going to be on my way right now here. So let's do it. I'm still enjoying working on this canvas. If you have a little trouble with your vision and it's hard to get on 14 count if your eyes not very good go for 11 count it's also fun yeah the project will be a little bit bigger by the size but if you work in just for fun not to actual project to finish quickly and frame and put in your room uh, just enjoy enjoy the process Because you know I have so many projects obviously they will be never hanging on a wall because it's too many of them Who has this many walls? I don't have a mansion or studio to put them all on a wall. I wish I could but just for the sake of the fun and at the same time to spend time with you that's priceless you cannot put price on a friendship so that that's all good I, I like what I'm doing and at the same time you actually cheering me up to work on this one because if I wouldn't do every Wednesday this canvas probably fall into the whips kind of deep down pretty fast even I like to work but because I started so many canvases I, I like to do a little bit this a little bit that but at the same time something pretty can sit for a while but it's still good to switch whatever other people say it's still fun uh, you know some people work one at a time project finish to start uh, yeah, if you are not youtuber, it may be a good idea if you just work on one project and finish But think about it if you would watch on my channel all the time same canvas every day that would be boring, right? 
because some canvas have only like a mutual colors for example all browns or all grays that would be fun for you to watch you want to see some more colors different projects so that's why I have to switch I need to change them and at the same time like right now this canvas basically I work or with this light colors or kind of in a greens not too many colors I'm working on here mm, the roof on this buildings I think it's more colorful will be more fun but for now it's like a same same colors green or white green or whites uh, you know skin tone colors would be boring for you to watch but if you don't even do uh, videos for your channel you just doing for yourself sometimes it's good to rest for example switch from huge canvas to something little project that you know you can finish maybe in one week and you see result and make you happy if you start an all big project it can take you sometimes months and months or even years to finish it feels like you are working so hard and you have no progress so that's why it's good to switch to little projects to finish them even frame and you have the satisfaction of stitching and finishing compl completing you know your cross stitch feel satisfied this way and make you happy right and then you go back and work on your big canvas to continue slowly little by little but as I always say uh, work this for uh, for enjoyment it doesn't have to be like a marathon you have to finish and that's it no just enjoy the process okay I have to see where this pink tail go from which one oh, I think from this side yeah Okay, so this one will be overstitched with those, those green symbols to, to cut this little tail. So right now I'm not allowed to touch that. Definitely getting on my way, but that's okay. My next cross stitch will be probably tutorial on the metallic threads. Uh, so far I'm doing like one by one video to fill up for you for the whole week. Um, so yes, I already, this is my second video today, which is the video you watched yesterday. I just finished recording and that's what it's processing on my computer right now. Um, so this one obviously for Wednesday uh, for Thursday I need something diamond painting or something else uh, maybe some other tutorial because I want to switch not like cross stitch um, back to back because that way diamond painters will will be set probably if I have a cross stitch twice in a row or maybe I will do some other tutorial that I planned. Okay, this pink definitely on my way, okay. As soon as I finish this part. Because I keep catching it. Thank you all for sharing your project in my Facebook group. 
Facebook group has the same name as my channel, so if you are new, please welcome. Everybody's welcome. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go this way. Then how would I go? Yeah. I find when I hold my canvas like like you know after I put this down and I kind of put pressure I feel better where my needle coming out to kind of more comfortable this way you, you feel an attention of your canvas Yeah, I definitely like this little light that lighten up my canvas right now from the other side. That way I don't have to use a light on my magnifier. And I don't have to blind you with it. We don't have a shadow as you can tell. And I can see very well. That's it. That's how I'm going to use my light. It's a very cheap version light. So it's like it's nothing very fancy, nothing expensive. But they give you good light. And it's a dimmer, you can make it lower or higher. The only thing I find the sensor for the touch to turn on, very sensitive. And let me show you. We have, let me show you in here on this side if i can turn it this is the button on and off if i touch it here see i turn it off but also okay turn on turn off i find that if i touch in here on the side it's also turned on <laughs> so it's not really like the sensor all around here i guess so that's the only thing if you touch it to kind of move your lamp, you will be screwed up your life, like uh, light, not life, oh my god. Yeah, so that that's the only thing, but also, if you, where is the light, where is the light, where you hold it, it's dimming down and dimming up. So no, that, that that's good. That's good enough for what I need right now. So if you need some extra light, check out uh, the video that I did review. Um, where this was from, or paint some way or one day saving what was that this lamp just recently I did uh, review I think last week some other stores now have this lamp too it's not just one store who have it so just uh, find where is price more better for you if you don't have any good lamp in your local store this can help. I will need to readjust the camera a little bit just a minute because we are going a little bit lower point right there
uh, this weekend at the campground it's still you know the daytime is hot but later on in the evening it really get cold it's chilly the water is still cold some people kids already swimming God bless their hearts they always you know more brave than adult people they never cold me no I can touch the water with my hand make a test that this is still too cold <laughs> not to go on the water so I'm just walking around the beach looking for some pretty rocks I actually picked some pretty rocks I forgot to show you I should add the to my camping weekend video that video I was going to put on a different channel but then I thought okay let me just try it and see if you will like this kind it looks like you had fun thank you for visiting me my family we had fun cruising around So from here, I think what I will do, and this one thread, where is which one? Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. So this tail, we will cut it out since we stitch in here. So I will do half stitches in here and close, go back full stitch so I can get close to this part. Because if I go and close, then I have to cut my thread to start over in here. That way I'm going to half stitches, close them and it will be easy to move from me to the next part. Okay, so let's get started. I will start from this one. Mostly I have some like tutorials, tips and tricks in my Wednesdays video but also I have a separate video for beginners how to start uncounted cross stitch for example or tips and tricks how to start and finish thread there's a many different techniques pick which one you like the most For me, this technique that I start today, it's the most comfortable one to create video tutorials for the channel because I don't have to flip my thread. Plus, this canvas is very stiff, so this is more comfortable to do this way, just to leave a little tail and cut later. When it's canvas soft, I like to wave my needle on another side. That way I don't have any tails hanging. But this is just a comfy way if you don't want to flip your frame all the time. Okay, I think now we are going to over stitch this tail because I started the same symbol. I, this was the same one, red one. So my thread was short, I just went across. So now I will pick it up the thread and over stitch it will be one more less tail hanging around here to hold the kind of make attention okay. my 
she lose a little bit. Um, time from time, need to kind of twist fabric on the frame to make a better tension. This is like a drum roll. Mine's okay. I don't mind to fix it time from time. If you want this to be more stable, you need to do like put even paper towel under your frame uh, those holders if your frame a little bit too loose because plastic can stretch from time or like a little tea towel or something This row will totally overstitch this tail now. I need to do some housework too. Not just a craft. I think I need to make some coffee or tea or maybe I still have some strawberries from my camp and strawberry picking. We give some, um, when we came to the campground our older couple show up, uh, they are selling their trailer and not gonna camp anymore. Uh, he always liked to talk to me about Ukraine and he asked me about Ukraine. So I give them some strawberry, then uh, our new neighbor behind us mm, looks like a lovely older couple. We give them some strawberry and then we come home, our neighbors cross the street. The one who found one neighbor was um, who actually found that uh, possum, little baby possum. And the other one who was keeping him in a cage to kind of let him grow a little bit and later she will release him by herself. So they too got strawberry. So we like to share because I have a whole bunch of strawberry that I can't make a jam. And I still have there because I kind of keep forgetting that I have eat and I like that to have with like a cup of tea or something but I just keep forgetting to eat. I like to put them on the bread. Uh, so we just enjoy the fresh one berry. I still have one bucket left. Even we share a lot. Because somebody asked me what I will do with all the strawberry. Usually I make a, I can them, but this time I'm not going to. Okay, so now from this point, for me, it's easy to, to get to here so I'm going to start in here and move my canvas a little bit and my battery already dying that's great so and my thread is almost finished in here it's short now so whatever battery die okay I need to readjust now a little bit more 
Okay, my friends, so whatever battery died, that's it's going to be end of the video. It's going to be video probably for about 50 minutes, maybe. Somewhere like there. Oh, no, yeah, plus my intro. So anyway, 40, 50 maybe around one hour usually it doesn't get any shorter thank you for stitching with me if you have any other questions ask and i will answer all your cross stitching questions i will answer in cross stitch wednesday how about that that way you will remember where to look for the answer on which day My roses bloom nice in the backyard now. I have a few more flowers to plant. I think that's what I will do today. Put them on the front a little bit. Daisy girl stretching next to me. Sleepy girl. Little by little progress going. One thread at a time. We didn't create lots of stitching, but everything better than nothing. Even if it's just a one thread. my friends have a good day I will see you tomorrow for something with something or DP or some tutorial we'll figure out thank you for staying with me because I'm almost done in here I love you Thank you for your support, for your love, for your comments, for your thumbs up on my video. I appreciate a lot. And if you are new, please subscribe. Share video with your friends who like to learn how to cross stitch. This is going to be last stitch and I'm going to stop in here. Pull my thread somewhere in here. And that's it and I will finish here. I'm just going to make a shorter. That's it. That's all for today. Love you all. Stay safe and I will see you tomorrow.